Hi, I'm Gaz from Double Threat Skates. I'm here to teach you a little something about roller skates. Today's lesson is in axle spread or uh, axle distance, which basically refers to how far apart from each other your front wheels and your back wheels are. Now this is important because when you skate, you want to place your back wheels or your back axle under the heel of your foot under your heel and you want to place your front wheels or your front axle under the ball of your foot more or less there can be some variation in this um, if you're more experienced skater you might have a little bit more nuance um, in how you like your wheels placed or where you like your wheels placed but as a general rule putting your back axle under your heel and your front axle under the ball of your foot will give you optimum uh, precision and control and power and blah 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 all the stuff you need right so we get a lot of questions uh, when people are trying to choose the correct plate size uh, on how to do this basically how do you work out what what plate size you need uh, something we'll often ask people to do is to measure the axle spread of their current setup um, so they know what axle spread to get on their new setup right uh, Seems easy, but it can be a little bit confusing. This is partly because all different plate brands are sized quite differently. So some plate brands, for example, are roll line plates. The size of the plate refers to the axle spread already. So for example, you might have a 150 blaster. That means that the axle spread is 150 millimeters. Uh, or like a Falcon plate or a Bont Athena plate, which are um, sized in the inches of the axle spread. So you might have a size 5.5 plate, which would be 5.5 um, inches between your two axles or 5.75 or 5.25 or whatever, same thing. 5.25 is 5.25 inches, 5.75 is 5.75 inches, etc. However, some plates aren't sized like that. Some plates are sized in um, sizes like 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, etc. And on these plates for these plates you really need to look at a plate specific sizing chart to find the corresponding axle spread for that size plate so for example um, a size 6 Arius will have a 168 axle spread I made that up I don't know for sure the size 6 axle spread for an Arius but as an example a size 6 Arius might have a 168 axle spread um, but a size 6 uh, Avanti would have a completely different axle spread that's not universal across different plate brands so you really want to um, look that up when you're choosing your plate if you have a quick google of your the plate brand you're looking for and a size chart most plate brands have really easy to understand charts which will tell you the plate size the axle spread often the uh, full plate length as well um, and sometimes even the weight of the plate so that's really useful now, measuring your axle spread is super, super easy. Basically, you want to measure from the middle of your front axle to the middle of your back axle. And that'll be approximately the axle spread of your, of your plates. How to do this, you ask? You get a ruler <laughs> or a measuring tape. You line it up with the middle of your axle at the front. You line it up with the middle of your axle at the back. And that's your number, baby. This is a 140 millimeter plate, I believe. What plate? It's my, my roll line killer. Sorry, I wasn't sure what, what skates I was showing here. Um, and indeed, it is a 140 millimeter plate. So there you go. Easy peasy. If you are upgrading your plate and you're not sure if you do want the same size as what you are skate skating on already, uh, then what you want to think about maybe is uh, how your current plate feels, right? So it's quite common for the standard plates that come on on a pre-built pair of skates to be on the longer side. And so when people upgrade, they will sometimes, depending on what kind of skating you're doing, opt for a slightly shorter plate than what they have been skating on. So if you're considering whether you want to stick with the same size or if you want to size down or maybe you even want to size up, what you want to think about is is how your current plate skates and if you're happy with that so if your plate is slightly long it'll mean that your front axle is sitting slightly further forward of the ball of your foot usually um, now what this 
does to your skating is it provides a lot of stability uh, and it can also make it a little bit more laborious to, to turn right when you turn you turn by putting weight on the uh, inside or outside of your foot which makes your axles tilt which is what makes your skates turn so if your uh, front axle is further forward of the ball of your foot it means it's further forward of that main pressure point on your foot which means when you put pressure down through the ball of your foot it's actually your toes which are doing the turning which isn't as powerful so it takes longer uh, to turn and uh, it's more laborious it takes more energy as well but it does mean it's great for stability because if you accidentally put pressure through the front of your foot your skates aren't going to turn straight away so so having a slightly shorter plate can make your skates a little bit more responsive um, it can also take away some stability sort of I mean <laughs> too much stability isn't always a good thing uh, you know sometimes you want to add a little bit of um oomph uh, to your to your skating. So think about that if your plates are maybe a little bit long. Um, if your plates are too short, uh, if your front axle is sitting behind the ball of your foot, it's going to do the opposite. So it's going to make you really uh, a little bit unstable, uh, and it's going to make mean that you can probably turn really quickly, but maybe not with a lot of control because when you put put weight down through the that ball of your foot through that main pressure point you're going all the way over the front of that that pivot point um, which means you're putting a lot of pressure down really suddenly but you don't have that control of of that pressure point you don't have that stability point there um, however for some jam skating this is really this is really useful because you want to be able to turn really quickly and really easily um, and you also want to be able to get up over that front axle um, so if you're if you're thinking about that uh, then maybe talk to your gem skating friends and, and see what they recommend or come and talk to us and we can we can help you out a little bit too so that's just a little extra for experts on top of your uh, axle measuring lesson <laughs> if you have any more questions um, write in the comments maybe I'll read them one day <laughs> that's all for now